This is the Cinepair CQ5 by Xeon. This comes in at less than 100 pounds, but I have a discount code for you, and you can check that out in the description to get this cheaper than anyone else. This is an AI powered smartphone gimbal. So let's go ahead and take a look at the design. It has this really nice compact foldable design, very easy for you to take it with you in your backpack. You can even fit this in your pocket. When you do open it up, this actually has an inbuilt tripod, so it does expand all the way out if you wanna get that elevated height for all of your filming. Very nice touch. Also comes with a little tripod in the box as well. You attach it to the bottom. All of the functionality that you expect from a smartphone gimbal, you have the mode button there that switches between pan follow, locked follow, and POV. You've got a record button there, the shutter button. You have a joystick, USB-C charging port. This gives you up to 11 hours of shooting time, which I think is absolutely great. Power button there trigger button at the back and then you also have a scroll wheel here so you can actually use this for telephoto and wide angle zooming and then you have a quarter 20 inch thread just at the bottom in addition to that you get two magnetic attachments the first one is an ai tracking attachment you can mount this to the phone mount on the gimbal and then you can use gestures to control the gimbal as well works with any of your camera apps so your native iphone camera app you can actually use that with this you can use the ok hand symbol to start the tracking use the palm to stop the tracking. And you can also start the shooting by using the two fingers and this will actually stop the shooting as well. Also, you can use this to take photos. Then you can also use two thumbs up to switch between portrait mode and two thumbs to the side to switch to landscape mode. Then you also have a magnetic fill light. So this will actually allow you to illuminate your subject or yourself if you are in low lighting conditions. The phone mount itself has the magnetic attachments on both the top and the bottom. So wherever you feel is necessary, you can attach either one or both of them. When you are filming, I do recommend you have the magnetic fill light at the top and the AI tracking attachment at the bottom. This is so that when you rotate your phone to portrait mode, the magnetic fill light won't hit the side axis of the gimbal when it does rotate, making it so much easier for you to keep both of the attachments on at all times. Now there's plenty of smartphone gimbals out there that have magnetic fill light attachments that have AI tracking modules. It's very common these days. But the one thing that stands out on the Cinepair CQ5 is that this has AI voice control. I've not come across that in any of my other smartphone gimbals that I've researched and I've reviewed in the past. This is really great and this gives you that freedom of getting your shots by just using your voice and preventing you having to constantly go backwards and forwards to start the filming or doing any type of manual adjustments. So I'm gonna showcase how that works as well. And there's plenty of voice commands that you can use. You don't necessarily need to have these attachments to use the voice control, but the voice control microphone is just on the side of the gimbal here, and it works very well. The response is very fast. So let's go ahead and just show you some examples, and I'm gonna be using this with my native iPhone camera app, but I will showcase how you can use the Zai Kami app just to go that little bit further and complement all of your filming with a whole bunch of templates and really cool cinematic shots that you can take with that. So let's go ahead and take a look. Hey Kami. Start recording. Hey Cammy, start tracking me. Hey Cammy, flash. Hey Cammy, max bright. Hey Cammy, switch to portrait mode. And you can see how great that works. I'm really impressed with the voice control on this. It's super fast, it's super responsive. And not only that, the gestures for the AI tracking module is just as fast as the voice control. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch back to landscape. And you can see it's so fast. I'm really happy with that. And in fact, if you want to know the full list of voice commands, I'm just bringing up the screenshots on your screen now. So make sure to pause the video if you just want to read a little bit more about all of the different voice commands that you can give to Kami. I think it's really great that this does have those voice command capabilities. Now, I'm just going to quickly go through and showcase the Zai Kami app just to see how you can complement and take your filming further with all of the features inbuilt into that. Okay, so this is the Zycami app. You have the video options. You can turn on face tracking directly from the app as well. So you don't necessarily need to use the module if you don't want to connect it. 
but I always highly recommend you use the AI tracking module just because it is that faster and it allows you to use your native camera app. You've got a whole bunch of settings here. You can actually change the resolution just from the left hand side there. If you go into more settings, this is where you can change all of your shooting settings. I'm just gonna quickly cycle through these. You've got the gimbal settings. If you wanna do walking or running, you can actually select between them. So I really like that it distinguishes between both of them. You've got a whole bunch of options to set your gimbal preferences, just like this. Then you have some general settings there. Always recommend you do your firmware updates if you get that option when you first use the app. You have panoramic mode, you have slow motion, you have dolly zoom, you have time lapse and hyperlapse. If you go right down to the bottom, you have a whole bunch of smart templates that you can download and use to create some really cool cinematic shots and it's something that a lot of apps that complement gimbals nowadays also come with. But I think they have some really cool options. They really take the AI capabilities that further. So you have to go and download whichever one you like, and then you can go ahead and play with some of these. Okay, so now you've seen how to use the gimbal and all of the really cool features that this has. Let's go ahead, step outside, and actually get some really cool shots with the CQ5 and see how smooth the footage actually is. Hey Cammy, start tracking. Hey Cammy, start recording. Hopefully you enjoyed that footage. It was super smooth. I'm really happy with this and this is so affordable. Make sure to check the link in the description for an exclusive discount code for you and all of the details you need to get your hands on one of these really awesome AI smartphone gimbals. As always, if you have any questions about the CQ5, then drop a comment down below. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to subscribe and I will catch you all at the next one. Take care.